Animated alerts are a great way to help your followers engage on your Twitch stream since people love to watch cool little animations when they subscribe or donate to a channel. That is why the more interesting the animation, the more engagement you get. Today we will be making this cool, retro futuristic glowing animated alert animation in After Effects in a few simple steps. So I hope you are ready to revamp your channel animations. So guys let's jump straight into Photoshop and uh, let's go ahead and first of all design our alert. So before starting if you haven't already subscribed then please subscribe to this channel for more amazing content like this. So in order to design this alert I'm just going to go ahead and first of all make a nice rectangle over here. Maybe something like this. And you don't have to worry too much about uh, the exact dimensions just follow the steps that I'm showing you. So what I'm basically going to do is uh, just go ahead and first of all add my gradient overlay over here. I'm going to go with a let's say 45 degree gradient and I'm going to select my colors over here with black at the end and in the middle okay and uh, let's just go ahead and increase this scale to uh, let's say maximum and I think I'm happy with this so what I'm also going to do is uh, add a new stroke over here and for this stroke uh, let's just say I selected a color something like uh, dark red or maroon over here select ok and let's see if 3 pixel works and I think this will be good so I'm just going to go ahead and add a new solid color over here just so I can see this alert much better and this is really nice I'm going with a futuristic red color theme over here so you feel free to go with a neon blue or purple theme so I'm just going to go ahead and press ctrl T on this and just skew this a little bit by holding down control I'm just going to move this and by holding down shift uh, I can just drag this over here so let's just give it a little bit angular shape just like this and I think I'm happy with this so another thing that I'm going to do is just go ahead and create a new layer over here and I'm just going to go ahead and create a triangle over here so by selecting this I'm polygon tool I'm going to click once over here and select three sides for this select ok so now I have this polygon and what I'm actually going to do is select this one once again select the fill as none and select the stroke as the one previously selected or let's just maybe and for this uh, points let's say we have around 4 pixels and I think this looks fine so I'm just going to go ahead and add a glow effect to this polygon so I'm just going to double click this layer over here bank space and just go ahead and select outer glow for this and for this outer glow I'm just going to select bright red just like so select ok and a little bit of opacity increasing a little bit of opacity and a little bit of spread as well size as well you can see that we have a nice glow over here selecting ok and we have this alert prepared now we are going to export this in photoshop so i'm just going to name my layers a little bit delete this one just so it's easier for me to identify and then you can go ahead and press ctrl s and save it wherever you want so after moving into after effects i'm just going to go ahead and create a new composition the same uh, width and height 800 by 300 pixel for the alert and let's say we have around this animation has around five uh, seconds or seven seconds and then you can hit ok we'll have something like this we can just basically go ahead and import our file the psd file that we saved and we will have the composition detail layer sizes editable layer styles hit ok and then we'll double click this button over here and we can go ahead and import our file like just like this so basically now i'm just going to go ahead and create a new composition and create a 500 by 300 pixel composition and this will be our text composition so let's just go ahead and add a new layer text layer and let's just go ahead and write the information that you want new follower or new subscriber anything that you want so i'm going to change a few settings over here just by decreasing this just like so and going ahead and selecting a new font for this so you can select any thin futuristic font i'm using the morganite font for this just increase the little bit of text spacing over here and increase the size as well then go ahead and align this and we will have a text just like this ok so now we need to animate this text and in order to animate this text what we are going to do is basically just uh, select this animate button over here and then select a property of position for this position I am just going to select minus 
700 and you can copy the same steps uh, as I will show you over here so you can select the add and add another property of opacity and decrease this opacity to zero and now what you need to do is uh, select this add button once again and add another expression so uh, now in this expression selector I'm just going to go at amount uh, at this position over here at amount and I'm going to select alt on my keyboard and press this stop watch button over here so this is going to open my expression video window and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this expression over here I will provide this within the description so you can copy it from there so I'm just going to press ctrl V over here and once I have this expression then what I'm going to see is I'm going to see this animation like just like this so it's a nice uh, subtle futuristic animation for a new follower or a new subscriber or whatever alert that you are making over here new donation etc by the way guys if you are liking this video so far then please be sure to hit that like button and comment below on what style of alerts you want to see next and subscribe as it really motivates me to keep making these videos so now i'm going to go back into my composition over here that i have and as you can see that i have already placed this photoshop uh, file over here so now i'm going to drag this uh, text effect uh, over here that i just created and you will see that we have this text animating just like this I'm going to just go ahead and decrease a little bit of the size and position it somewhere around this triangle over here because I'm also going to animate this triangle and this animation seems completely fine so I'm just going to go ahead and move this a few frames ahead just so uh, when the alert starts in the animation in stream elements or on your streaming then uh, there is a slight delay in the beginning because uh, we want viewers to see the entire animation so I'm also going to start the rest of the animations from this 20 frames this will be my reference point now I'm going to animate this triangle over here uh, so for to do this I'm just going to hit S on my keyboard to open the scale property and what I'm going to do is uh, first of all decrease the scale to 0 and hit the stopwatch button over here at around 20 frames so just like uh, in the previous composition uh, and then I'm going to go ahead let's say around 15 frames and increase this to 100 so we are going to have a scale animation just like this okay so another thing that we need to take into consideration uh, is this scale property over here uh, we have this anchor point uh, somewhere around over here and we need to just adjust this between the center of the triangle so what I'm going to do is uh, select this polygon and then go ahead and select this anchor point tool over here and basically just move this anchor point somewhere within the middle just like so so we have a uniform scale and a rotation property so now that we have this scale property now we're going to add another rotation property over here so I'm going to press R on my keyboard to open the rotation and I'm going to select 0 over here then I'm going to press shift S to open the scale once again and go over here and select 1 for this just so we have a scale just property just like this so we have this animation uh, just like this and now uh, I'm just going to go at around 5 seconds and I'm just going to go ahead and leave this rotating at maybe at around 150 degrees or so just so we have a certain rotation animation so just like this and this is looking like a really nice futuristic polygon animation along with the glow so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a laser light over here which is going to be a stroke animation along with a glow so I'm basically going, just going to select a new shape layer and add my shape over here which will basically just be a pen tool and uh, I'm just going to draw a line over here from this point to let's say around this point by holding down shift and I'm going to select this stroke color as select this color and just go ahead and select a color over here so I think four pixels for this stroke is good enough and now I'm just going to animate this stroke over here okay so now that I have my uh, stroke line drawn over here I'm just going to go ahead and add a new trim path animation to this shape layer so I'm just going to select add and then select trim paths so in this trim path animation what I'm going to do is uh, at around this point we where we have ending this uh, new follower animation I'm just going to go ahead and select these both of these keyframes select 0 for both of them and then I'm going to go ahead at around 15 frames let's say 15 frames or so then I'm going to select 100 for both of this and I'm going to select the start keyframes and I'm going to shift them a little towards the left 
so that we have a nice dash animation just like this a little bit more and we have a nice lengthy dash going along this the screen now i'm just going to go ahead and select the graph editor for this uh, start animation and i'm just going to change it, the graph a little bit so i'm going to bring this down and just move uh, the right keyframe to the left side and so that i have a nice animation just like this a nice slow or fast animation and then a slow animation just like so i'm going to close this graph editor so by the way if you do not see this graph over here then you can right click and select edit speed graph i'm going to close this graph editor over here and then i'm just going to go ahead and add the glow animation right now so once we have this over here i'm just going to go into effects and presets type in glow i'm going to just go ahead and select this glow animation over here i'm going to drag and drop it on my shape layer which will be my stroke animation so i think i'm just going to go ahead and increase the glow intensity and a little bit of the glow radius i'm going to press control d on this glow and this will duplicate the effect so i think this nice subtle glow animation effect would be really nice and if you want something more uh, uh, intense then you can just uh, select this uh, delete the second glow and just adjust a little bit of the properties over here glow intensity glow radius then press control d once again and you will have a different type of glow you can press control d once again to add more glow to this uh, but i think that this is going to be a little too much so i'm just going to stick with two glow animations just like so so feel free to play around with this uh, properties so you can have a glow that is suited to your needs so i'm just going to preview this animation and i think that this is looking really nice boom you see that now that has turned out to be a futuristic animation so what is going to happen in a stream elements is that uh, you are going to export this file and you are going to add the follower name over here on this position over here so there's no way to add it in after effects but uh, you can add it in stream elements once you add this animation to your streams and that has turned out to be a super nice animation so now we are going to just go ahead and export this animation so i'm going to first of all just remove this background and make this background transparent you can hide this background over here that we added the black background and we need a transparent background over here because this is an animated alert so i'm going to select file export add to render queue and in this lossless setting i'm going to select this quick time and rgb plus alpha you can also select avi because it's also transparent alpha animation select ok and this is your destination and then you can just go ahead and select render for this so guys thanks so much for watching this video let me know in the comments what you want to see next or any other twitch animations or recommendations that you want to add feel free to add them in the comments like this video and subscribe this channel for more amazing content and i'll see you guys in the next video inshallah